Advanced Turbine Engine Company is an American aerospace joint venture created in 2006. A project of Honeywell International Inc. and Pratt & Whitney, ATEC was formed to compete for a government contract to create a 3,000-shaft horsepower engine to replace the existing 2,000-shaft horsepower T-700 engine powering the U.S. Army's Sikorsky R-60 Black Hawk and Boeing R-64 Apache helicopters. ATEC participated in the Army's Advanced Affordable Turbine Engine Science and Technology Program and completed multiple tests of its T-900 engine. It is furthering the engine's development through the Army's Competitive Improved Turbine Engine Program, which calls for a new helicopter engine with 50% more power and 25% better fuel efficiency. The company opened its Huntsville, Alabama, office in November 2014. Topic background Honeywell International Inc. and United Technologies Corporation subsidiary Pratt & Whitney created the Advanced Turbine Engine Company in 2006. The company is led by Craig Madden, President, and Jerry Wheeler, Vice President, Programs. At the 2007 Paris Air Show, the 5050 joint venture said it would participate in the U.S. Army's Advanced Affordable Turbine Engine program. In May 2008, the Army awarded a $108 million contract to ATEC for the science and technology initiative to replace the current T-700 engine. Through the project, the Army seeks to increase the power and efficiency of engines for Sikorsky R-60 Black Hawk and Boeing R-64 Apache helicopters, to keep the helicopters in the fleet for an additional 30 years or more. ATEC is competing against GE Aviation to develop the new engine. Parent company facilities in Connecticut and Arizona hosted the early development of ATEC's HPW 3000 engine. ATEC conducted tests of the HPW 3000 in 2013 and 2014, including a sand ingestion demonstration. As of May 2015, ATEC is preparing to move into the Army's next phase of helicopter engine development, the Improved Turbine Engine Program ITEP. .Following the AATE program, Marge, General Michael Lundy, who commanded the Army Aviation Center of Excellence, and Heidi Hsu, the Army's Assistant Secretary for Acquisition, called ITEP the Army's top aviation modernization priority. The National Defense Authorization Act funded ITEP at $126 million for fiscal year 2017. In November 2014, ATEC moved to the Cummings Research Park in Huntsville, Alabama. The Huntsville Times reported that city officials lobbied for three years to get ATEC to locate there. Originally, Wheeler said four or five management and business development workers would work out of the new office, in addition to visiting engineers and logistics professionals. Topic T900. The T900 is ATEC's dual spool engine intended to replace the U.S. Army's existing engines for its Black Hawk and Apache helicopter fleet. Originally called the HPW 3000, the Army designated it as the T900 engine in February 2017. In August 2016, the Army awarded ATEC a $154 million, two-year preliminary design review contract to further support development of the replacement engine. The assignment of a customer naming designation T is typical as an engine development program matures, the engine is designed so the Army can install it without having to adjust the engine compartment. ATEC is designing a 3,000-shaft horsepower engine to replace the 2,000-shaft horsepower T-700. A dual spool engine has potential to increase an engine's pressure to power ratio. ITEP calls for the engine to be 50% more powerful and 25% more fuel efficient while lowering maintenance costs. The engine's increased power is designed to allow Black Hawk and Apache helicopters to fly higher and longer with more soldiers in hotter climates. <laughs> 